Welcome to Good Mythical More. You think you know how big countries are, but let us tell you how far they are from each other when you measure them and then compare them to each other. But first, let's donate $1,000 to save the children to aid in their mission to ensure their three global goals are met. No child should die from preventable causes. All children should have access to quality basic education and no child should be a victim of violence. Please join us in giving to the great work at savethechildren.org slash donate. Thank you for being your mythical best. You know what? We're gonna be singing your praises because you earned it. You're so good. You're so good. You're so, so good. good. You're, You're so, so good. good. Oh, all You're day so and good. night. You're all so good. You're so good. You're so good. You're so good. All day and night. You're so good. Stop predicting what we like. How'd that feel? Was that worth every 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 penny you paid to watch this today? You didn't pay nothing, but you voted. You voted. And you rhymed. Hey, there are a lot of that really great songs that we collectively sang around the campfire on our camping trip. Yeah, well, great the one is, about, a, is well, a relative word. What was it? Um, what did we sing about? Well, it's hard to remember. There, were, we, You mentioned the whiskey part. Yeah. Um, Boy, boys of all ages. Okay. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Uh, Something yeah. about, we, don't, we don't know everything that made the edit. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I don't know if you every think, song made You think they cut my song out? I, no, I don't know, man. I haven't watched it yet. Well, I shoot, was there, though. That was a good song. Yep. There was a bedtime song. It was I a, remember that. That was it. Okay. The bedtime song was the one and about the, boys and, of all ages. And the boys ages. of all ages is just me and Link. <clears throat> right. Right? Yeah. What was the other song? Well, you know. There were some other songs. There were some more. Um, so much happened. It's just hard to remember it all. That's the yeah. reason why I can't remember it all. I can remember some very specific things. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, like I, vlogging gonna... in your tent? Well, yeah. Vlogging I mean, I in our tent. I don't want to spoil any of, vlogging of those in... things. Yeah, Mythical um, Society, check out our camping trip. It's, uh, we're, we're super proud of our work. On a scale from 1 to 100, how confident are you in knowing both the size, like, you know, of the land, and the size of populations of different <sighs> countries? Um, land, I would say, like, is it relative? Like, this one's bigger than this one? Yeah. I'd be like 44%. And the Your population, okay. I would say uh, 4%. Uh, I feel like we have a distinct disadvantage being American, to be honest with you, because Americans are, all we think about is America. I mean, all the stereotypes are true. It's just like, there is apparently, there's like a country above us and a country below us. <laughs> Uh, that I've heard about, and there's oceans, but like we're just so Americentric around here, you know, and like we just we don't know how big things are. We, we we're just we're just a bunch of selfish a holes. A stands for America. We're so I don't American feel, I don't holes. Feel great. I don't feel great about this. So no percentages for you. Uh, I'll give a fifty. I'll give a fifty on both of them. I actually think it might be better at the population than the country size, but Brazil versus Australia. Okay. Which is bigger. Okay, well. Fucking okay. land. Oh, 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 hey. Which one is Brazil? Uh-huh. Is that the one, is that the one that's like clumpish or the one that's longish? The one that's longest is uh, Chile. Brazil is like right? half of South America. It's the eastern part of oh, South Oh, yeah, America. yeah, Rio. And it's shaped like a giant triangle. And then you've got Australia, which is a continent. I'm gonna go with Brazil because when they when they pull when they pull Australia from under there and like wrap him up, he looks bigger than he actually is on the maps. I'm gonna go with Australia. It's Brazil. Yes. Oh. Chase made this little motion capture oh. movie thing. Oh yes. What's this? I was right about Chile too. And our, oh oh it gets smaller when you move it up. Okay, so it it's close. So it <clears throat> now are we going off of like so who's right? Are we going off of facts? It's Brazil. Are we going off of Chase's little diagram? No, here? It, so Brazil is 
3.2 million square miles, and Australia is 2.9 million square okay, miles. So, so it's close, very but, close. Yeah, but Brazil is such a huge country because Australia is so big. Like, if you start driving across Australia, like, through the outback, yeah, it takes days, man. Days to get across that thing. If you make it. If you make it, that's right. But Brazil is bigger. Um, so population, huh? No, no. No. No, no, that's a different, we go through four oh. other ones. Oh, good, because there's a lot more people in Brazil. Brazil's obviously. got way more people than Australia, but that's not what we're talking about. Um, there's hardly, I think when we went to Australia on tour, first of all, I loved it. Uh, second of all, I think we met every single person. There's more people in North Carolina than Australia, I think. I think I remember something like that. We'll look that up, that was not one of my things. Greenland, that's not true. Hold I on, mean, it's I not true truth? about the North Carolina Australia Okay, thing. how many people it does is Australia true have? That, that was not my chart. North What's Carolina it? is 10.39 million, and Australia is 25.8 Okay, so like Australia is two and a half of North Carolina. That's what Six I meant. Nine. Wow, Greenland still not a lot. Versus Argentina. Uh, and we know that there's that effect that you Thank talk you. about with the way that the... Uh, yeah, the um, what is that effect? The fo- the, the cartographer knows about the, it. The 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 the, the, the global Mercator projection, the global photo uh, syndrome. So if you look at a typical map, Greenland looks giant. Oh man, Greenland and Argentina. Ar- it's still hard. I'm going to go with Argentina, um, and I just think it's simply because of the Mercator. Yeah, I think uh, just think of all the room they have for um. Football fields in Argentina. Yeah. You're so smart. They're everywhere. You are so smart. Argentina. Argentina, and it's because of that thing you said. But look at Greenland, and yep. look... Oh, look at it! It's <laughs> bigger! This is Chase! So cool. Chase making it large. So this is truesizeof.com, right? Yeah, which I, I it was one of my wrecks on our look, podcast, Ear Biscuits. Look how big Argentina got when you drug it. The Do that again, Chase. Com. Start it over. Okay. Here we go. The true size of... Yep. Whoa, Greenland has been fronting on the map. Here's this my whole question: time. Why do they have to do that? Like, why can't they just make it small? Chase, <laughs> I mean, I know that if you make it small, then it doesn't. There's not enough to to go the full width of the map because of the way that all that stuff at the top of the map comes together into one point. That's the North Pole and the you know the South Pole. I understand that, but it just feels like there's a way around it. So because the, the rest of it's just ocean. Oh, that pre- this preserves oceans. Yeah, this projection became popular back when everyone was traveling by boat. So it was just to see relatively how far you're traveling. Okay. Okay. What are the flat earthers? That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> traveling by boat. Because those flat earthers have really sophisticated arguments that <laughs> if you. No, I, I mean, they're obviously all wrong. But like they're sophisticated, and if you're just a normal person who's just like, yeah, the Earth is, a, you know, a sphere, they'll be like, well, they'll start asking you all these questions and things that you don't know about because you just like believed the science book, like a normal person. Yeah. Um, but what do they say about this? They've got an they've got a, an answer for everything. They're like, well, this is why that happens. I want to take. Do we have I, any flat earthers here? I want to take. A flat earther on a like a, a, a space flight, like why is that not a show where you take a flat earther and you put them on a spaceship? I'd pay to see that because they because they're afraid of, of flying. They'll say it's off. a flat circle, right? But we're, we're like, yeah, but we're gonna fly around it, brother. <laughs> and we go, and it'll definitely be a dude. They're just gonna go and say this is a dude. <laughs> it's not. There's women are too smart to think the Earth is flat. Okay, there's a bunch of idiotic dudes, and they're. And I want to, I want to do that, women and then I want to take them to the North Pole and the South Pole. Don't make generalizations about women, even if it's complimentary. No, you can do that if you, you can do that. You can See? make those. Remarks. And uh, but that, isn't that a good series? Like, wouldn't Netflix pick that up? Like, taking flat earthers and showing them that it's not flat, and then they have, to, and then like seeing them deal with it in the mental gymnastics, and like we add like graphics, like a beautiful mind, and things are like happening all around their head. And they're like, Ugh, I'm uncomfortable now. Might die from shock. 
the, the fact is, is they would still believe it even if after they did it, and that's why it wouldn't be good because shh, 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 all the evidence is already there. Challenge us with another. This that one was really close though, because Argentina is one million square miles, and Greenland is eight hundred and thirty-six thousand square miles. So again, we're like in the same area. Yeah, I mean, these aren't easy. This this is close, close stuff. South Africa versus Indonesia. South Africa. Indonesia is how many islands did we say? 18,000 islands, but the most of them are very, very small. How I do think you, if you take all those islands and you clump them all together. Does the website spot. clump them together, Chase? No. Uh. Yeah, Chase is going to have a difficult time with this one <laughs> when he scrolls over there. I think that. 18,000 islands? I'm gonna go with Indonesia then. I'm going with South Africa. I think the total land mass is gonna be greater in South Africa. It's Indonesia. Well, let's see. If it. you, if you, you have to prove you it. Com- if you push I'm them right all about that. together. Okay, it's way. Oh wow! It's way bigger than I thought. I apologize to Indonesia. South Africa is just dinky. <laughs> so Indonesia is seven hundred and thirty-five thousand square miles, and South Africa is. 471,000. And it actually looks like it's even, I mean, it looks bigger than, it looks more than twice the size. Wow. Wow. Wrong answers only. Um, let, let's, let's develop a new game show called Wrong Answers Only. You have to be wrong. Yeah, I'd love to play that. It feels like that would be kind of easy to win. Yeah. Is it who's more wrong? I don't, I, all I have is the title. We call it Morong. Smoles? Morong? Like moron? Yeah, Morong. Okay, yeah. Hey, did you hear about what happens today? Uh, I did. No. Did you hear about what's back today? Best Friends? Yeah. Oh, is that today? Best Friends back all right? Yeah. Season yeah. three? Season three's back. Today? Yeah. Yeah, All right, yeah. congrats. It's big news. You survived the camping trip, and now you're making your podcast again. Yeah. All right, check out Steve Inigin's podcast. It's back for season three. You never know what they're going to talk about and who they're going to talk to, but you're going to learn that you're in the Nothing. right place. <laughs> you're going to learn, you're learn that you're in the, the right place. place to learn... To learn nothing, to learn something. You can, you know, there's always something to learn. That's true. We do have, we do have actual <laughs> experts on the show who, who teach us things. I had someone tweet to me because I had asked the dermatologist we had on a while back about um, the proper SPF level that you're supposed to wear in your sunscreen. And? 30. 30. And someone tweeted at me that they had changed all their moisturizers and lotions because of uh, Best Friends Back. Like 50 is too much? Well, um, I, I mean, you're showing your hand that you didn't listen to the episode, but... Um, it, Essentially, there's recent reporting um, showing. I don't use sunscreen. There was like there was a myth, or not a myth, but a, a poor it's understanding that like at a certain point, uh, the higher SPF you went, the the it it didn't matter anymore. So like there was a cap out at a certain point, but that's not true. So basically, like the higher the better, and the lowest you should go is thirty. Oh, so you can go higher. You can yeah. go higher. And also, we've got really crappy sunscreens in America. Well, and also, I didn't realize that the SPF level that's on the sunscreen is if you apply it, like, a th- certain thickness to, like, every part of the spot that you're supposed to apply it to. But if you apply it in a thin way and unevenly, you're not getting the full SPF that it, the product claims. Well, it'll, it's just do your best. Wow. So when you rub it in... Well, it's not about it, it, it's, not it's about good. even coating is what I'm hearing yeah. to say. Best but friends majority, back, all right. Check yeah, it out. Majority of podcasts are not about uh, SPF levels. Uh, okay, this is slightly different. We're talking about a state here, the state of Texas, huh. big state versus France. Oh, that's I, Texas, bigger than France. Texas, Texas is way bigger than Texas, France. way bigger. I would say twice as big. Is it's it? bigger, but it's not way bigger. Oh, it's, let's um, see it. 286,000 Drag versus 247,000. There you go. Ooh. Wow. It just, oh. <laughs> it just dwarfs it. Well, it's it actually not, it, it's bigger not than much. I thought. France is a really big country for Europe. Like, 
France is the biggest country in Europe. Is it not? It's one of them, right? I mean, if, I guess if you start talking about Scandinavia up there. But mainland Europe, not including Eastern Europe? Yeah, it is. Because it, it says, when you Google it, it says Russia, Ukraine, but uh, France. France, mm -hmm. Spain. Man, France is big, man. Texas is bigger. Wow. We've been trying to tell you. Good old Texas. Been trying to tell you how big it is over here. Thank you, Chase, for 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 dragging it. Um. Okay. Now we're gonna be talking about people. Population. Fine. We population get to the, numbers. the people. And this is according to WorldPopulationReview.com, and should be reflective of this year's population count. So there's 25 oh. million people in Australia. I remember that. China versus India. I'm going to throw this. You're going to secure it on that, okay? Well, we're talking about the two most populous countries in the world, right? Now, let me start with how many people that I think are on this planet. I think I think we've we I think we've broken seven billion. Yeah, we definitely. Is that right? Yeah, we so, definitely have broken see, seven billion. Like, I have trouble remembering numbers. I'm actually. Oh, there it is. Ha! Um. No worries. Seven billion. I can do it again. I think, man, I think India may have just passed China, but I'm gonna go with China because that was always the right answer I think, when I was I a think kid. There's uh, one billion in India. One seventh of the world's population is in India. I think there's more than a billion people in both countries. Really? I'm gonna go with China. Oh, you know, hold on. No, hold on. Here's the thing. One point two billion. China has one point one. China had a population China. control policy that's been in place for decades, though. India. India, India is on top now. That's my guess. You're saying China, Lee? No, I said no. India, 1.2 oh. to 1.1 billion. Okay, so you're close in terms of how many people-ish, I guess, oh. uh, but China has more people at 1.425 billion, and then India has 1.417 billion. Oh, wow, Ooh. so they're both... Way neck and there. neck, and it's projected by the by the end of this year we'll have eight billion in yeah. the world. Oh, man, what's the carrying capacity of the Earth? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I I don't stay too uh, well read on this, but uh, my uh, Angelo. The last time my Angelo <laughs> said. <laughs> Said that the population issue is not as like alarming as it once was because what they keep finding is that people are smaller. No, what happens is as countries come into, you know, as countries develop, population and like fer you know fertility and population growth slows down, and so you kind of start you keep reaching this upper limit. Plus, so this idea that it's just going to be like fifty billion people, like you just can't happen. Like we're we got population decline in the US right now, right? Um I mean video games. I mean obviously the only population is is immigration. Inversely right? proportional to uh to uh horniness. What is the latest what does the latest Maya Angelo poem say about that though? She I know. When I say latest, I mean the the last one she wrote. Uh, Mexico versus Germany. Mexico versus Germany and population. Whoa. First of all, this is gonna be close. You guys are tricky. Because I would say that Germany has, oh man. Uh, Germany's got like no clue. 55 million people. No, Germany's got, because we have like 375 here. No, Germany might have 68 million people. And what was the other one? Mexico. Mexico has 72 million people. I'm gonna abstain from this. Nothing I'm gonna say. Mexico is. has slightly more people than Germany. Germany has 83 million uh, people. Okay, not too bad. And Mexico has 127. Whoa! Wow! Wow! 120! Wow! That's a great stat to go out on. Wow! Stevie and the Gene's podcast, Best Friends Back, all right, returns today for season three, so check it out.